What's your name and where did you travel from? I'm John Barron and I'm from Boise, Idaho. Nice. I'm Sheila Ritter mm -hmm. and um, I came from, I'm local okay. here in Maryland. Nice, okay. Um, uh, my name is Savan and I travel from Seattle, Washington. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. Okay, so okay. So tell me, what was your biggest takeaway from the last session that you've attended at KCF Live? I'm going to solve my outsourcing problem mm -hmm. through uh, Ty's program. I joined that. Nice. Uh, well, this is my first uh, KCF Live, mm -hmm. and um, what I remember is Ty saying that money loves speed, mm -hmm. because I seem to overanalyze things, and so when he said that, um, it just kind of, I guess, gave me permission. Get, get it out there, yeah. and then you can modify as you go. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there are so many things, like from Ty, I feel like sharing his story, everybody was just so real, so relatable. Mm -hmm. um, Greg did an amazing job with the whole research. It's like there's so many opportunities. The opportunity is like, it's limitless. It's like the world is your oysters, mm -hmm. you know, and they go into straight detail. Like, it's just straight to the point, and it's very easy to implement, you know, and um, the last session with uh, Josh and Marty, I love that uh, we had the workshop and they were guiding us step to step. So then when we do go home, we know exactly what to do. Yeah. Perfect. So what's one thing that you've heard so far that you believe that you'll benefit from the most? Oh, well, the mindset shift when he said that he learned something from one of his mentors that um, sort of regard a million dollars as mm -hmm. being small, mm -hmm. then that will help you believe that you can make a million dollars in a month. Yeah. So that, sure. mind, that mindset shift um, oh, it's, it's just changing. It's just changing the way I think about, you know, um, the six figures or seven fig figures that you can make from mm -hmm. doing this business. So yeah. um, I'm becoming a believer. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So what? So what makes KCF Live different from other conferences that you've attended? Oh, it's fun. It's not boring. Yeah. I was never born. I was never uh, bored one moment mm -hmm. at all. So. Good, good. So Just nice. a lot of energy too. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah okay. You notice that everybody has. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, straightforward. Uh, I love the speakers. I feel like they real. Um, you know, I love just hearing everybody's background, you know, Josh's and Marty's and um, um, Ty and Greg's, like they're all relatable, you know, they all came from, like no one was giving them any money. It, they all started as like self-made, you know, and a lot of people can relate to that. And I feel like um, when you have to fight for what you want, it's gonna make you relate to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. So next time, if you can bring one person, who would you bring and why? Oh, I'd bring my, I'd probably bring my co-author. I do have a co-author. Okay. And um, they would probably be real excited because I can't wait to get back and tell them how excited I am. I have so many ideas yeah. that I got and I, I don't know which one, to, well, I do, I do know the one thing I'm gonna do first, but then after that, there's so many ideas I have mm -hmm. that I can implement and I just can't wait to get started. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> so what would you say to the person that's watching this and is considering coming to the next Kindle Cash Flow Live event? Um, well, like Ty said, you know, uh, the things that you that keeps you up at night is your dreams, it's your goal. I believe that all of us are made to do something more than just go to work and pay bills. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a single mom and what keeps me at night is just like, like they say, it's like once you accomplish your goals, once you have those material things, it's like there's always going to be like a bigger house, bigger cars, mm -hmm. but the things that's going to bring you fulfillment is living in your purpose. And when you live in your purpose, it's like you're always alive, you're always awake. And it's like, you know, this is just an opportunity for your dreams and your goals and so much more. You can make an impact. And, you know, if you're at home, you know, thinking about coming here, like, if there's a will, there's a way, you know? And I believe, you know, if, if, if it's on your mind, just go after it. Like, I believe that, you know, God created everyone for a purpose. And everyone is here has the potential to do anything they want to. So just go after it. There's. You're never gonna have your ducks in a row. 
And the thing is that when opportunity comes into you, there's always going to be some inconvenience. You know, like car breaks down, family sick, whatever. But that's just a test. And I feel like if you come, if you want to come to this type of event and something happens, that's just a sign that God is testing you. Are you willing to fight it through? And if that's the case, go after it. Wow. That's great. Oh, don't miss the next one. <laughs>